all right welcome to this channel in today's video we'll be working on another github task and the name of this task is collaboration be up to date and so the task collaboration be up to date is telling us that for this task and only for this task please update your file readme.md in the main branch of your repository software because remember um We've been working on some tasks for now, and this is a follow up of our previous works. So, we started from the first task, coding Fury Roads. The other one was collaboration, the base of a company, and now this collaboration be up to date. And in all this, we created a repository called Software Precourse. And now we're saying that, okay, the readme file that we have created in Software Precourse, we should go there and only for this task, update your file, your readme file. In the main branch of your repository from github.com so instead of going to make the update from your web terminal we are to go to our normal to our repository in github.com and so let's do that update it from it it is the only time you are allowed to update and commit your file from github interface so let's go to my github interface look this is the repository software precourse and if you open this software because you see the readme file here and the message in the readme file is my first readme so he said we should update this we should update what we have here all you need to do is just to come you can see this pen this pen is to tell you that you can edit click on it and um, once you click on this pen you'll be able to edit what you have here to whatever you want to edit it to and so once you come here now you can see you can type what you have what you want to so I will just update this by putting okay i am a software oh you can put anything you like here you can type anything you want to type here software engineer all right so this engineer okay this is fine i'm a software engineer and once you are done you just come down here and you press commit changes so it's saving what you've done and once it saves the saving gets completed um, you see it's up here all right let's give it some time it's maybe faster to end depends on your network speed all right you can see now it has been updated i am a software engineer so the first part of this task has been done we have updated our readme readme.md and i am a software engineer going back to the question the question says after you have done that in your terminal in your terminal get all changes of your main branch locally that is your readme file will be updated so we are to get all this locally you know we did this in our remote server that's at, at github.com so we open our web terminal so once you fired up your um, web terminal you just list the content you have in your um, root directory and when you do that you should see your cloned software precourse repository so now we are to navigate into this repository you change directory using the command cd and then you navigate into the repository software precourse so once you press enter you should be in the directory the repository all right all right to make things clearer so you're already inside your repository software precourse and now let's list the contents of software because to be sure of what we have in there from our previous uh, previous video see we have this this directory 01 git now what did the question say we should do the question said getting all changes of your branch locally that's your readme file or get all changes of your main branch locally that's your readme file will be updated so now how do we do that if you come to your uh, your web terminal let's check the contents of readme that's cat read me dot md so they want to see the contents of readme dot md once you press enter you see that readme dot md we still have what was there before my first readme but in our repository we had already changed it to i am a software engineer how do we um, update this change locally that's what the question is saying the question is saying get all changes of your main branch locally that is your readme file will be updated so we want to update what we've changed already locally 
and the way you do that is to use this command git pull now i used to push into github now we want to pull what we've changed in github to our um, local machine and also use git pull all right it tells you it comes up with this there are four files chain two insertions two deleted and you can now check you can let me clear this screen so that we can have more space to work clear so when you clear you should have more space to work then you can check the content of readme now so let's see the content of readme so we just use cats readme.md and once you are done typing that you press enter so you can see that it has been updated now i am a software engineer so you've been able to update what you've done on your um, github repository locally using the command git pull so now it says create a new file called up to date at the root of your repository and in this write the git command line used so we want to create a file and you know that the git command line that we used was um git pool so we are going to, we are going to navigate to our root um, root directory yes your your root directory i remember our root directory is 01 git for this particular project and so we'll just navigate to 01 git now so let's let's be sure 01 git is here by listing the contents of 01 git and you can see 01 git is right there 01 hyphen git so we navigate by using cd into 01 git so you cd into 01 git and once you press your enter it should take you into this new directory 01 git now the question is saying exactly we're already there now the question is saying in this your root directory create a file up to date and in it write the git command line used i remember we used git pull so we just echo echo into uh, what are we echoing inside we're echoing git pull which was the command line we used into a new file called up to date so we we'll use the command echo we were putting the, the, the code git pool, which was the command we used, into the file up to date. And so once you do that, you, you can check the content of up to date by using cat up to date. So if you use cat up to date, you should get the content of up to date. And the content of up to date should be git pool because that's the command you used so you can see what we have there is git pool and we move to the last part of the question add up to date to git use the commit message how to be up to date in git and push to the origin so all we need to do is just to do the normal stuff we do we add to git by using git add space and dots so that's the way you add to um, your git git add um and dots so you press enter after you, you press enter the next thing you have to do is to commit so you use the command git commit and you type in your commit message so you said how to um, the commit message is how let me check the commit message again the commit message is how to be up to date in github so we put that how to be up to date all right so you type that how to be up to date on github that's your commit message all right then you press enter once you press enter it will successfully commit these changes to your github uh, remote server then finally you know you have to do git push so once you do git push this is the command to push all the changes you can see you have one file changed one insertion so you use git push to push your changes and once you press enter you, your um, your your changes will be pushed successfully 100 percent so you can go and check your repository yeah um once we open this software precourse again so once you load software precourse it should give you 
the the new file up to date so inside your zero one i think git um, directory remember we changed our readme.md to i am a software engineer so now inside this you see you have bash c and up to date and i think that will be all for this video so um, kindly subscribe to this channel click on the bell notification to be notified when a new video is dropped kindly like this video and share with your friends thank you